Arena Sabalenka versus Karolina Mukova is the first semi-final for the Ladies French Open for 2023. And both ladies have been very impressive to get to this stage. Mukova entered the tournament unseeded and will take on Sakari, the number eight seed in the first round. And after a close first set, Mukova would win in straights, 7-6, 7-5. In the second round, she'd take on Podoroska. And after getting bageled in the second set, she'd take it out in three, 6-3, six, three, love six, 6-3. Six, in the third round, she'd take on this 27 seed, Bagu. And again, an easy win for Mukova, getting through in straights, 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, in the fourth round, she'd take on the lucky loser, Avanesian, who had beaten Benchich along the way. But this was no problem for Mukova, getting through in straights, 6-4, six, 6-3, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Mukova will take on fellow unseeded player, Pavlyuchenkova, who'd been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals. However, Mukova was too strong, getting through in straights, 7-5, 6-2, to to advance to another semi-final at a slam. Sabalenka started the tournament off as a number two seed and will take on Kostruk in the first round. This is no problem for Sabalenka. Getting through in straight, 6-3, 6-2. In the second round, she'll take on the qualifier, Shaimanovic. And after a close first set, would win in straights, 7-5, 6-2. In the third round, she'll take on Rakamova. And again, Sabalenka easily winning, 6-2, 6-2. In the fourth round, she'll take on Sloane Stevens, someone who had, who had been very successful at the French Open over the years. And after a very good comeback from Stevens and get to the first set tie break, Sabalenka would get through in a tight match, 7-6, 6-4, to advance to her first quarterfinals at Roland Garros. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on Svetlina, who'd been having a very successful comeback from pregnancy. But unfortunately for Svetlina, this is where the fairy tale ended, with Sabalenka beating her in straights, 6-4, 6-4, to make it to another semi-final of the slam. These two have only played the one time before, that was four years ago on a hard court in China, with Sabalenka getting a close straight sets win, but both players are much better than four years ago, and of course, this is being played on clay. If Mukova's gonna win this one, she needs to be aggressive and make Sabalenka move. Not too many players have been able to do that this week and get Sabalenka going around, running around a little bit more. Also bring the variety. She can hit some volleys, she can come to the net. Mukova needs to do all those tricks to have a chance. If Sabalenka's gonna win this one, she needs to dictate the rallies, stand on the baseline and go for her shots. That's what Pavlyuchenkova didn't do against Mukova this week. So she needs to stand on that baseline, serve well as well, and hit those winners. This is going to be such a fire matchup. Two big hitters and two shot makers in the semi-final, but I've got to go with Sabalenka in this one to make the final. She's been so impressive this week. Hasn't dropped a set yet. I think she might drop a set though and win in three, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to make it to the final.